Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Fresh trouble for Ize Iyamu. APC does not have candidates in Edo Global Election. Comrade Ro Osareme says to Ize Iyamu, My people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. What is going on with Ize Iyamu and um, court case and problem here and there? This man don't seem to have a minute of rest. It's one to the other. I don't get where this is coming from. This is becoming unbecoming. It's from one suitcase to the other. It's from one lawsuit to the other. What is actually happening? This is an APC chief team saying we don't have a candidate in a, in a, in a door state and they are making it ethically clear and stretching it out to INEX saying we don't know what you want to come and do. There is no there is no record of us having a candidate in a, in a those states, my people. Can you believe this? This is coming barely 10 days to the Edo state election. What is happening to Ize Iyamu? Does he need further prayers? We'll get onto the news and get all the details. Ro Osarime is the one saying this and has gone ahead to tell Einek, what are you doing? What's going on? If you are coming to a door state, we don't have a candidate. APC does not have a candidate. Let's get all the details. APC does not have a candidate in a do global election. Ro Osari Me tells Ize Iyamu. A former public secretary of APC, Iowa local government area, comrade Ro Osari Me has described Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu's campaign in a do state global race as a sheer waste of time because the party organ he claimed to be representing is not on the ballot bus because they don't have a candidate in the first place. Comrade Ray Osarime, who is the chief press secretary to the council chairman, Honorable Sivelus Okoro, said this while exchanging views with, with newsmen in Benin City. He said his submission is based on the fact that the recognized APC faction known to law is the one represented by Chief Aslam Uzoji, who has repeatedly claimed that APC has no candidate in this election because he did not feel and file for one. The legally recognized Edo State Party chairman said APC does not have a candidate in the September 19 global national election. In other words, we are giving our support to Governor Godwin Obaseki. APC made the, the greatest political mistake by denying a man like Obaseki a return ticket. The era of one person denying the fate of the deciding the fate of the entire state is gone and gone for good forever. That's why Adam Sushumole was removed as national chairman. Some of these sins are catching up with him. Asked to advocate reasons why Edo voters should vote Governor Gordon Obaseki in the September 19 governorship election, Ray Usarime said the governor has touched virtually all sectors of human endeavors, providing infrastructure development, human capacity development across the state. He made large able industrial reform and his tenure has witnessed so much peace and tranquility. Teachers are happy, civil service are happy, pensioner salaries, gratuities are paid as at when due. Eradication of talks, Agbero, including disbandment of the Indigenous Community Development Association and so many other people who has caused constant harassment to the people of Edo State. Governor Gordon Obaseki gave human face to governance. Obaseki made Edo State to understand that truly the people's welfare matters more. When other states are finding it difficult to pay worker salary, Obaseki is paying even before the time. Due to infrastructural development taking place, priority role in the state is not an excuse. He does all that is needed to be done by the government for good governance for the people. He scales above and beyond. His kind is rare in Nigeria. I know Obaseki as a courageous man, one who is firm and fears God, sent by God to the people of Edo State in a critical time like this. We need a leader who passionately desires the best for the state. On the possibility of Governor Gordon Obaseki winning the votes of his 
local government area, which is considered the stronghold of Pastor Ize Yamu. He said, PDP membership spreads across the whole 13 local government in Odo world. Odo is a PDP stronghold. Even when we were in APC as a ruling party, we lost most of the election to the PDP. In 2016 global national election, APC won only three units out of the 26 units in Odo world. We lost this world with a wide margin to the PDP in 2019 presidential and national assembly election. We also lost to PDP. We only won the House of Assembly election because of the love and the resolve of the support for the governor. Finally, he said, Governor Gordon Obaseki stand a good chance of winning Uruwaru because he has projects across the 12th world in Uruwaru, refining from the construction, renovation of public schools, health sector, skills acquisition center, water projects, road, human capacity development, and other major things which has grossly developed the state. Well, this is um, an APC chieftain saying that Ize Yamu has no chance because to start with his name is not even on the ballot box because APC's name is not there but we know that when INEC released the final list we saw APC there however this um, APC chieftains are saying they are going to contest it because uh, you know the fraction of all that happened leading to Adam Soshomole being removed as a do as an APC national chairman you know uh, it all started from a do state you see, when a man cannot sit down with his people and, you know, adequately have a, just a conver simple conversation, this is what happened. This is what happened when a man cannot sit down and just have a, you know, a hearty conversation with people and just know what is going on. This is what happens. This is what becomes of the whole people of the whole state. Anyway, they are saying Governor Gordon Baseki stands a bigger and a greater chance, even more than their very own APC candidates. So at those states, the elections is exactly 10 days from today. Exactly 10 days from today. You are the one to pick and determine who will become a do state governor by your vote. The voting of every uh, voting is a right for every Nigerian citizen to go ahead and to pick a candidate who will represent them in the forthcoming days to come. Because the person you pick will determine how Edo State will be transformed, improved, and how Edo State will move forward. If you don't pick correctly, you don't pick a candidate who has Edo State at heart, the next four years will come and go and nothing will be done. This will affect salaries. This will affect the livelihood of a do state to speak and to mention but a few. However, the case is the ball is in your court. Vote and vote wisely so that a do state can have opportunity of good governance. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.